Attention gamers, every time I release a video on a ranged top laner I find myself getting absolutely castrated in my comments by the people who play the meta and main this role saying that playing an ADC up top formally defines you as a douche. Good job, degenerate. And they're right. The last time I got auto-filled top and played a melee champ, Blockbuster was still Netflix and chilling with all the chicks who gold dig companies that aren't dead which makes me qualified to diagnose cases of ranged top laner syndrome. Symptoms of which include having less mechanical precision than a rotten banana combined with an absolute abyss in the positional awareness department to the point where you just play ranged champs because out trading a melee and lane becomes easier than winning a boxing match against someone wearing a straight jacket. But the fun typically only lasts for so long as remember you are a piece of boosted shit at this game so the second some thorns arrive via mail, your poke party ends leaving you with less pressure than a flat tire and you know what top laners become when they aren't pressured? A problem. I'm a problem. I'm a problem. Oh. oh. I'm a problem. And problems end up climbing to Challenger despite running into oncoming traffic from time to time so either you create these problems or you play against a non-tank who will eventually come to the realization that you as an ADC lack pretty much anything that brings value to the first 25 minutes of every game so you just kind of die faster than the view count of a just chatting streamer whose hot tub needs repaired. Then because you are bored certified trash you try your luck in another lane only to diversify the portfolio of people you have fed until every champ on their team gets put in the threat quadrant of the Rift SWAT analysis. So today we will be looking at a rather severe case of this syndrome and it won't be me because highlighting my own mistakes would go against the league YouTubers code of content no I was bot lane on Gandalf's Irish grandbaby trying to find a mathematically correct Vagar build so I could hopefully get hired as the sexy temp in the boom socks bungalow but after accidentally taking lethal tempo and then getting beat up early, I figured I would just flame someone else's gameplay instead but be on the lookout for that Vagar video soon as it turns you into a montage machine and you know what they say. You can't make mother f***ing money without making montages. Who says that? And to make montages you have to be able to edit you know use those clips as ingredients to bake yourself a cash filled cake which is why I want to talk about Wondershare's Filmora the proverbial cash cake baking monstrosity 9000 TM aka the sponsors of today's video. This software is absolutely perfect for all ranks of editors as it's range top lane or easy to get started making fundamental edits. I mean look how easy it would be to use Filmora to make a RAF style video I just use their silence detection to find and cut out all the dead spots in my games and then I lay on my special sauce. Then Yasuo just barely misses the same zip code as his target. And you want to know how much money you can make off of what I just created? None because of damn copyright which is why Filmora comes with a humongous library of royalty free stock footage sounds and music so you can turn that frown upside into fat dollar dollar bills yo. So check my link in the description for a free to try trial and since they are chads if you comment below hashtag create with Filmora or tweet at me something you've made with that hashtag, they will pick one of you for a free year license. So thanks to the fellas at Filmora and let's get back to the rift. Now as I mentioned earlier I was bought on little Leroy trying my best to keep this powder sugar covered Samira out of trouble but a combination of her having failed dumb shit's decision making 101 and their Lee coming so early you would have thought he was auditioning for Steve Carell's job in the 40 year old virgin and we gave up that first blood bank but thankfully the tower was chat enough to dish me out some consolation gold. But it all turned out okay because a minute later we were presented with an opportunity to Nickelodeon slime zone these shitters so of course I obliged and this gave that chesty strep infection the green light to grab both of them and say now kiss which got the best of the pale skinned one before little Lucifer got away. Anyways up north we meet the ashole playing a ranged top laner and you can see he's rocking grasp on an ADC so I can only imagine what kind of douche tuber made him think something like that would work but against a wind shitter you honestly never know. That said the inbred brother was procking his goon gales correctly and unfortunately for frosty nip 6 is greater than 5 so she gets the slice and dice digging real good. And this was all he needed to be reminded that ADCs suck more than a young Riley Reed early so the trade agreements between them is now more one-sided than what the US had with China when insert whatever politician that would make this joke funny but not offend use name was president so despite that walking puddle of infected jizz paying a visit. A punctual fruit ninja was enough to slap a dad ash with enough wind gusting gusto left over to goog on the area. So you can probably imagine the thoughts going on in this hooded homicide magnet's head coming back to lane maybe he should've played more meta. Maybe he should've poked more. 
maybe he should have not gotten fired from his shitty job at Burger King for whistleblowing about how Sunday's Whoppers were made from Wednesday's beef and now he is just angry at life living in his mom's basement pretending he likes her lasagna so he can leech free rent off her even though it tastes like absolute shit but it's too late to rethink this it was time to just do it like the brand of shoes he can't afford because he's the Whopper whisperer and not to add insult to injury but the twin of he who shits win just scored a quick hat trick on the ex-king of burgers with ease. And thus we see the second symptom of range top laners aka I created a monster top so someone else can go deal with it as mid lane already feels better there's no breezy blade boy trying to squeeze her like a fat tit no just a sunscreened up shrimp has been who loves volleyball but stopped growing after middle school so those dreams got shafted hard and now he just spends his time beach ball bashing dumb bitches and summoning his water gun tower defense lineup until she is low enough for him to go hyperbolemia with water buoys for the kill. Meanwhile bot just to give you all a glimpse into the kindergarten-esque bullshit I was babysitting we have god fist blind bimbo and the shrubs thinking we can't see him playing with his little dick in his hand flapping it around rubbing it on the tall grass like some kind of weird perv but I can see every little detail of what's going on and I am not gonna lie I don't mind a show when I'm wasting their jungler's time but the second he backs off my ADC is like out of sight out of mind and I am like no way this bitch has a mind for sight to be out of so I do the only thing I can think of which is to pull out my Vagar easy button and bash on the Teemo to make it a one for one. And the theme of Samira getting prodded and poked more than a damn cadaver continues but luckily she was still designed by the team at Riot that all got bent over and done dirty by the sacred opinus so she ejaculates shrapnel until skinny mini kindly pisses off. Then back to the frosty feeder who decides that mid is still the better place to be because as long as she doesn't walk in a straight line catch a beach ball eat a few rockets get dicked and fire off a W to make getting any farm at all a moonshot she will be fine. But our Pepega Archer learns that she can outrange the little super soakers which is good and all until she goes 3 for 3 and catching beach balls which lands her back in base. And they say don't tempt the devil but I am pretty sure if they saw how cute this one was while simultaneously carrying around the world's largest four leaf clover they would test their luck too so one quick combo and I was off faster than a baby Jewish boy's foreskin. Then a minute later I see their jinx in a worse position than someone's pet parrot that got loose at a shooting range so I shame circle her and then first hand see the silver lining in fat fingering lethal tempo runes as I donate all my abilities and then rapid fire wand my weed at that washed out woman. Samira dies to keep the tradition alive and then I flash rainbow bash Timo's past which was humiliating to say the least but I had bigger blinder problems to deal with and honestly you may think this situation looked hopeless but the key was to not say polo when he said Marco and with it we were on to covering what this ash wife was up to and I don't want to sound overly optimistic but it did appear she was thriving in lane against Heimer for the brief period when he was tabbed out looking for the name of Bella Porch's new song but unfortunately when he came back he also brought his damn beach ball and a few buddies this time to use use the ash atm and even i could have used some david goggins as i was ready to pull the tampon out right at 15 but it looks like we had at least one glass half full happy go lucky guy so i shook it off tied up the albino and demonstrated the ravs reverse acceleration 100 to 0 in 1.9 second special besides things were looking up all over the place Ash remembered that she indeed had an alt so she earned her first kill ever which was big news and totally made her death immediately after meaningless as this was grounds for celebrating and I couldn't think of a better way to do so than to put all my masturbating practice to the test by luring this Lee out from his little PVE excursion but I guess it's tough to show a blind man that you are alone so resort to ordering a snot rocket onto Satan's little synth and I rainbow that bitch to death instead. Then checking back in on the enemy team's best player and you can tell by her erratic and seemingly pointless movements that she has something big planned and it involves this bush as she prepares quite a perfect setup for the classic surprise I'm a dead bitch combo which long story short baits no one except for our mid laner into this shrub cluster suck festival. Anyways I suspect my ADC has a weird form of pea shyness but with last hitting instead of urinating so I try to pull everyone away you know give her some privacy to not be dog shit for a few seconds as I make the dweeb devil dance for a bit while edging with my alt key but I opt to save it in lieu of Gary Goo coming in to spank that boo boo in front of the wall she failed to flash through and then I continued through to spank the small satan too. That said we still have this pain in the ash on our team to deal with as the team's benign booger jumps in expecting to hear the word present when he calls attendance for follow up damage but you can tell its absence irritates him so he just fucks off and lets her continue on with her thing. Then a few minutes later I see Lee rocking the flea all dilated and ready for a little leprechaun dickin so I flash into what becomes a this shit isn't what I ordered but I don't want to be a nuisance so I will just take what's in front of me type of ordeal. 
This brings us to the hole I'm behind so I will just get more behind by putting my own behind on the line alone in the side lane so it's no surprise the cannon goes full blown Niagara Falls which prompts a stereotypical horror film dumb chick run so slow from the guy who's about to slice her meatballs into a thousand pieces situation. Meanwhile I'm over here trying not to get wet while turning a sprinkler off when a loogie comes launching in from downtown Disney World so I put up the Teletubby cell tower and then make that furry beach rat taste the rainbow. But our top laner was continuing to audition for the role of a newspaper by having a new issue every day and despite that midget's beach ball getting taken by the wind he deploys a super soaker 9000 for a little drench to put the dead bitch back on the bench type of deal as her third degree burns turn Jaime into a first degree murderer. And I'm not exactly asking for a badge here but one of my defining qualities is that I don't let felonies like homicides go unpunished on my watch but unfortunately another one of my defining qualities is the accuracy of a broken piece of drywall so I kind of just make myself increasingly frustrated until I say fuck it and jam my degenerate forehead onto my alt button to put an end to my embarrassing misery. Then I had the pleasure of laning with this ash temporarily as I was holding my breath hoping whatever shit she had wasn't contagious and I wanted out quick so I shame circled the sun-kissed pile of meninges who big brain flashed in the pride barbed wire which greatly expedited his execution and I swear this ash would find a way to cock block herself from jerking off as she still manages to die in that fight. But credit is given where credit is due in the next fight I act a bit too anxious to play some fruit ninja and thankfully this video's antagonist delivered a 700 pound bedazzled arrow to put the boys in timeout just long enough for me to flash out gather myself check my top hat fire one more fade away cue and let the super soaker act as nothing more than a backdrop for my action movie-esque escape scene. And let the record show that my interactions with windshitters typically go something more similar to this and it's hard to think that this was the same game where he was given Ash's credit card numbers early but we weren't out of the woods yet as my jungler's ISP took some mucinex meaning we would have to resort to cheesy 4v5 strats to win but Akali wasn't exactly cooperating and Ash was still being played by two golden retrievers trying to lick peanut butter off of a keyboard so there was no shortage of gold practically being delivered intravenously it was so consistent into the enemy but luckily I was able to cap capitalize on the fact that Big Head's exposed synapses were full of sand so he got picked like a booger and speaking of boogers look who came back a few minutes later which called for a celebratory hard out play the ADC out of me. That said Ash might have been as useful as a knitted condom but you know some people will still use that to screw others so when I saw the little stunned stealth rat mid I hobbled over to ask him where 80% of his health just went and this left me in a position where I felt like I was playing tower defense trying to protect Legolas's wife and despite my very best efforts there is only so much I can do when she was legitimately magnetic to our fountain. Oh and did you hear the one about the Teemo that snuck in an infernal drake when the entire enemy team was alive? Yeah neither did I. And so I hit full build video coming soon detailing why I chose these items look out Ross Boom Socks Baby which long story short took me to over 1000 AP as a support and made the end of this game feel like it was super montage worthy content just dying to be edited by our sponsors of today's video Wondershares Fillmore Kissy Noises for being such a chad and supporting me unlike my team who 20 minutes prior was trying to catch a cap to shitters and quitters anonymous. But with the power of some leprechaun luck and 200 years of game design in the form of Vagar's ult, we pulled this one and overcame a severe case of ranged top laner syndrome. Please do me a solid and slap the like button silly slash subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Rav out! Don't fuck with grabby boy I'm in your crib with the blappy boy talk to me slick and I'm popping your pappy. If happy talk back then I'm taking your grammy and boy oh boy I'll make her happy.